The entire talk and violent faction of the banned insurgent outfit united the Liberation Front of Assam Independence or Alpha I, led by Paresh Barua, has decided not to boycott Independence Day celebrations this year. The decision breaks the 42 years old cycle of insurgent groups of boycotting the national festival of the country and indulging in violence on those days. The decision by Alpha also comes in the backdrop of Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma ordering the outfit to sit across the table and talk out the issue. It was only after Himanta took charge and issues his dictate that Alpha announced a unilateral ceasefire and agreed to talk. Thus, it appears that the incumbent chief minister is all set to change the status quo of the region by ending the insurgency problem once and for all. Hi and welcome, you're watching TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I am your host Tribhuvan and in this video, I will tell you why Alpha has abandoned its customary Independence Day boycott and how Himanta has made them do it. In a significant development, the armed wing of the separatist group Alpha I led by Paresh Barua has decided not to boycott Independence Day celebrations this year or call for a shutdown on the occasion. Ever since the separatist group came into existence in 1979, demanding a separate and independent Assam, it has been boycotting the Independence Day and Republic Day celebrations and ramped up its violent activities on the set days. Rumail Assam, a member of the publicity wing of the group, released a statement which read, In the view of the COVID-19 situations and other problems like flood, erosion and employment affecting indigenous populations, Alpha I has refrained itself this time from armed protests of the fake Independence Day or colonial India or called for a ban. Citing that Alpha was not against talks, the insurgent group also remarked, our organization is not against talks or belligerent, but it is not possible to deny historic facts or waver from our ideological goals in the name of talks. Indian authorities have maintained that talks with Alpha can't include the questions of Assam's sovereignty. Assam's current chief minister, Himanta Biswa Sarma, is a well-known hard taskmaster and has a tendency to deal with any situation with a firm hand. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Union Minister Amit Shah, trust him to deal with the decades-long border conflicts, separatist and insurgency issues in the region. The Sarma, like a trusted lieutenant, has swung into the action as well. Immediately after assuming the CM chair in May, Himanta gave a clarion call to the separatist group to drop their arms and come for the talks. The chief minister said, a dialogue with Alpha is a two-way traffic. Paresh Barua has to come forward. Similarly, we have to go to him. If both sides have the will, communication won't be difficult. Few days after his call, Alpha declared a unilateral ceasefire for the next three months and said that the group was ready to resume talks. The group which believes in establishing an independent Assam for the state's indigenous people through armed conflict was banned by the Indian government in 1990 citing the terrorist threat. It is important to note that Alpha has been involved in terror activities across the state of the Assam for a long time. The group has carried out major assassinations which include the assassination of Surendra Paul in May 1990, the brother of businessman Lord Swaraj Paul. The group has also carried out explosion across the state including that of an IED explosion on March 2003 under a bus on National Highway No. 7 that killed six civilians wounded approximately 55 others. More recently, in January this year, the outfit claimed responsibility for a bomb blast that shook Digboe and Tinsukia district of Assam. While the organization attempted to clearly bifurcate its political and military wings, with a faction led by former Alpha chairman Arbinda Rajkova joining the peace process in 2011, Barua had been steadfastly against participating in any peace talks and had rebuffed all offers that came on the table. However, that was before Himanta took the reins. The change in the policy from Barua depicts that decisive change in leadership can bring the desired results. Last year, Drishti Rajkova alias Manoj Raba, the deputy commander-in-chief of Ulfa and the second most wanted fugitive of the outfit after Barua, surrendered in front of the forces as well. While CM Himanta issued a warning to the banned outfit to come and sit across the table to discuss the issue and end the cycle of violence, the Congress party, on the other hand, was in bed with Alpha. As reported by TFI earlier, according to former DGP of Tripura and Assam, Ghansha Murari Srivastava, Congress came to power in 2001 with the help of Alpha. Srivastava said, in 2001, Alpha was directly involved in Assam's assembly elections. The insurgent group helped Congress win the elections in Assam in exchange for a huge amount of money. He further added, we intercepted a message of Alpha Commander-in-Chief Paresh Barua wherein he passed an order to their comrades to attack the candidates of Assam Gana Parishad. 
In the same message, he ordered the men to kill the candidates of another political party as well. With Himanta at the helm of affairs, one can sense that the wheels of change have started to turn. The recent border clash between Assam and Mizoram came a few days after Home Minister Amit Shah visited North East to meet Sarma. Other Chief Minister and Chief Secretaries, which are the part of North Eastern Democratic Alliance. Shah had asked them to resolve the border issue, suggesting that some forces did not want border peace. At the time, BJP had indirectly sent a message that Sarma was their man in the region, and all the issues regarding the border conflict resolution process and all peace talks have to go through him. However, the political opponents and the insurgent across the two states feared that with Himanta at the helm of affairs, the border problem could be solved and thus chaos and mayhem were manufactured at the border. CM Himanta, much like the way he has stood his ground firmly through the countless conflicts in the state, has now put his foot down and is now determined to end Alpha Menace once and for all.